Hi, my name is Rick Turlip. This video is one in a series of videos on deploying a Horizon Edge appliance into a Horizon A environment. In this video, we're going to cover the steps required to deploy the Horizon Edge appliance from an OVF template. Thanks for watching. I start the OVF deployment by right-clicking on a folder resource in vCenter and select the Deploy OVF Template. After that, I paste the URL that I copied from the Horizon Edge deployment user interface previously into the URL field selected here. This allows us to download the OVF that was created directly into our vSphere environment. If you downloaded the appliance locally, you can upload it here using the Upload File UI. Please make sure that the URL that you're using is the one directly from the Horizon Cloud service collected in the Horizon Universal Console. Select Yes and continue the deployment. Select a folder to deploy the virtual machine into and type a unique name for this virtual machine. Then we select a vSphere cluster to deploy the virtual machine into and click Next and review the details before clicking Next again. Accept the terms of the licensing agreement and select Next. Choose an appropriate data store and a virtual disk format for the OVF tool. In our case, we have decided to use thin provisioning for this virtual machine. After that, select a network where you will deploy the virtual machine. This network should have been tested to make sure that it provides line of sight to appropriate resources required by the Horizon Edge Gateway Appliance, including the Horizon Cloud Services URLs, the Horizon Connection servers that make up the local Horizon environment, and the Unified Access Gateways that will also make up the local Horizon environment. Now you will begin to enter a series of details that will customize a virtual machine deployment in your environment. You will start by creating a root password for the appliance. Please note that you must choose a password that meets the requirements outlined in the configuration note above the field. Confirm the password and scroll down to the next set of configurations. You will need to copy the unique connection string for the appliance to pair the Horizon Cloud service into the connection string configuration item. You can find the connection string by going to the Horizon Universal Console user interface and copying the string from the deploy and pair the Horizon Edge Gateway interface. Here you will find the pairing code that you need for this step. The pairing code is longer than what is actually displayed in the user interface so you must use the copy function to the right of the pairing code to copy the entire pairing key. That pairing key is pasted into the connection string field of the OVF deployment user interface. In this section, the pod network and service network fields are optional. These networks are used by Kubernetes within the appliance and are not accessible outside of the appliance. They should be at the default value unless they overlap with other internal networks in your environment. After that, a number of optional proxy fields are available for configuring if your network requires a use of a proxy server to access the internet. Since we do not need this on our network, we skip this configuration and move to the Network Properties section. In the Network Properties section, we will configure the default gateway address for this appliance. You may leave this field blank if you're leveraging DHCP to deploy the appliance. After that, you can enter the domain name of the virtual machine which should match the domain name that we configured in DNS earlier. You enter the domain search path, which is the DNS suffix for the DNS that you are using for this environment. You enter a list of DNS servers that allow the appliance to resolve DNS names that are critical to the deployment, including the Horizon service URLs and all of the internal DNS names for the critical po Horizon pod components that need to be configured for deployment including the Horizon Connection Server and the Unified Access Gateways. Finally, you will populate the static IP address that you assigned and configured for this appliance, along with the appropriate net mask for the network in the next field. Once you've completed this, you can review the configuration items and click on Finish to complete the deployment process. Once vCenter has deployed the appliance, you should be able to power it on and let it boot. The initial boot and configuration process takes anywhere to 5 to 15 minutes depending on your environment.
Once you've verified that the virtual machine is running, you can switch back to the Horizon Universal Console and test to see if the appliance has connected to the Horizon Control Plane successfully.